Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. Let's go over XRP Ripple here. I'm going to be going over some news. I actually want to start with some news and then I want to go over the metrics here. Um, and I'm not going to make any conclusions yet, but I want to show you guys what I'm seeing on here. And uh, we're going to decide if we think XRP is going to start moving up here and breaking this resistance or start moving down. If you guys bought into this, I'll just say this right now. I think it is a very strong idea based off the metrics I'm going to show you guys. If you bought in anywhere down here or bought into the drop, like I ended up getting in really low on um, a Cardano and, and uh, Dogecoin and also Ethereum right at these low levels on this double bottom here. I would I would be selling 50% of all my my um, holdings right now. If you guys are looking to paper trade and you're not looking to hold and stuff like that, okay? I am calling a 50% withdrawal right now and then let the rest of the 50% ride. I'll prove that to you guys in this video of why, okay? Quickly, the trend exhaustion and the price versus the well money flow. The green line is the well money flow and the the, basically the price structure is in pink here, okay? We are seeing something interesting happen here where we are seeing a little bit of a divergent happen on the money flow. I actually did a video for one of you guys yesterday. Um, your name was Dennis. So Dennis, if you're watching this, um, you'll understand exactly what I'm trying to show these guys here. But when you start seeing this money flow here starting to drop down where you get lower highs, while the price in here is making higher highs, this is not a good sign for the price to keep heading up. Um, it, it basically means it's overinflated and it's due for a drop down. We saw this on Bitcoin, we saw this on Ethereum. It's part of the things that I use to actually call this drop in the market, if you guys have been watching the videos on this channel. If we take a look at the trend exhaustion, historically when we've gotten up into these top red zone areas, we've seen a drop in the market. Watch over here, we saw a drop in the market. Look over here, we perfectly saw a drop in the market. Look over here, we saw a drop in the market. If you you guys are looking to go long and short like get the trend exhaustion and the well price versus well money flow indicator i think you guys will do very very well with it um it's what i actually use to end up calling the entries for myself um which ended up getting me into these positions and taking a 546 dollar withdrawal yesterday i did a 28 percent on Ethereum, uh, 20% uh, on ADA, and I also did uh, about 34% on Dogecoin in the last few days. Those are the profits I've been taking on this channel, if you guys have been watching that. Okay, um, let's go back over to this. As far as, you know, looking for a move up of how high we're gonna go. Well, the news articles, we're looking at this down here, and I wanna jump into that really quick. This was one of the news articles that came out today, which is one of the top ranking ones. XRP skyrockets 17% as double bottom chart pattern takes place. Pay attention to what I just said there, double bottom. If you come out here and you look at the daily, this is what they're looking at. They're looking at the bottom here and the bottom here. This is what's called a double bottom chart pattern. Come back over to the four hour and let's switch this over to the day real quick and follow me on this. This is exactly what they're looking at with the double bottom. Okay, it's a very strong structure. It's a lot of times you guys can, you guys know this, is that a double bottom has a very good chance of heading back up. Strong support, strong visual structure of support. This will usually see a bounce. Well, if we take the sentiment of what this has been saying for a double bottom and we go back over to the charts, I will be going over the metrics, so d don't miss that. Okay, that's what's gonna call the, the tops of the, the, the drop or the pop, I'll call it today. If we take a look and keep that sentiment going, we are now at a double top pattern. Do you guys see that? We were at a double bottom right here and right here. Double top, structure high, putting up, um, we're basically at the structure high where we were. So this is where, honestly, if I bought in anywhere through here, I because I like to buy, sell, buy, sell, and take advantage of compound interest, or basically just get in and out of the market, I don't like holding too much. If you do, that's awesome. I'm never gonna bash holders on this channel whatsoever. You need to find out what strategy works best for you. But this is a double top and possibly look for a drop down. Real quick, let me cover this news as well before we go over the metrics, which is Probably the most important part of this video, guys. Japan to test Ripple's ODL. This basically this is called on-demand liquidity. Service for money transfers to the Philippines. That's really cool. Basically helping people transfer money with Ripple. The launch of ODL in Japan is just a start, and we look forward to continuing to push into the next frontier of financial innovation. Beyond real-time payments is just in just the Philippines, but to other parts of the region as well. Awesome. More advancements for Ripple, more liquidity, on-demand liquidity services for Ripple. This is very bullish. All right. Now that we know all that, real quick, guys, if you want the trend exhaustion to help call the drops and the pops and the price versus well money flow, I am going to be upping the price in about four days, um, July, excuse me, August 1st. So if you guys want them, get them in the description. That's all I'm going to say about that in this video. I will be raising the prices. Go snag them. Awesome. Let's go over the metrics. This is possibly the most important part of this video here. We're looking at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for all these metrics to update on a daily basis, which is about two and a half hours. Okay, the emotional index. Pay attention to this very closely. Last time we ended up getting up here for uh, XRP, for Ripple, 
we ended up seeing a very nice drop in the market, okay? This basically ended up pushing us into this bear market we've been seeing. I think this was actually the push down, but last time we got up here, we saw a move down, so that's one. The second time we saw a move up here, we pushed up, we could not move higher, and we saw a drop down, that's two. The third time we got up here, we saw a little bit of a consolidation, bounce move back up, trying to get some double tops in here, and then we could not sustain it, and we moved back down. That's three calls in the market. And then we saw the move up here. That's four calls in the market on a drop. Even with this original move up here, we see that when we got into the greedy section, we saw even a little bit of a drop here. We go back even further, we saw the drop in the market here. Further, we saw the drop in the market there as well. Go even further into the greedy section and that's when we saw this drop. Go even further and that's when we saw this drop. Every single time, 100% of the time, I, I hate quoting 100% because I don't ever believe 100% of anything, but if we're looking at this truthfully, because this is a true metric that never repaints and it, it is, it's honest guys, we'll just call it like that, it's honest. Every single time we've gotten to the greedy section, we have seen a drop in the market. So this is my call. If we come out at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and make sure you're watching these metrics over here, it's 49 bucks a month, okay? I'm just gonna leave it out there. Snag it, 49 bucks a month, you get the metrics for all these coins, probably the best investment you'll make here. If we get into greedy, I am expecting a pretty decent drop on XRP, which could push us back down to previous levels of maybe, I would say six to seven cents if we see a drop right now. Basically, it's the structure, um, the previous structure high, which would basically be about seven cents. Let's follow this down though, okay? I want you to watch this as well on the metrics today. This is, I haven't seen this too much on many coins where we're this low on long and short trades. With this pump in the market, I want to see very strongly in here, did the long trades increase in here or did the long and short trades increase? And if the long trades did increase at 8 a.m. this morning, did the short trades increase as well to put a bunch of pressure on all of your guys' buys in here? Because if the short trades increased a lot with the longs, that is telling me that there are a lot of people looking to short this and trying to move this back down. So you need to watch this metric today over the next few days for those of you guys who are in XRP. Okay, long versus short trade risk. Currently sitting in good short trade. Again, last time we peeked up into these places, we saw moves down in the market literally every single time. This is a few times up here where we got super overextended. You guys know this XRP just went flying through the roof, hit an all-time high, and then we saw the crazy drop and pushed us into the the entire bear market that we've been in for a while now. So watch this closely. If you're going to be taking long or short trades, I am personally telling you guys, I really believe it's better to look for short trades around here to follow the metrics that have been right about 80%, 90% arguably maybe 100% of the time. I'll say 90% of the time here. Watch this because like, I don't know if you guys can watch this whole video. I understand that. But like, please listen to this right here. If you guys, if literally, I used this analogy the other day. If you live in a house and there's a fire about, you know, so call half a mile away, a firefighter comes and knocks on your guys' door and says, hey, buddy, there's a fire half a mile away. From historical data, we show that this fire has about a 90% chance of hitting your house. Are you going to stay in your house? Are you going to stay in your position? Or are you going to exit? Are you going to at least take some out of your house and leave and get some off the table? That's what I want to point out here. Could XRP start heading up and hitting all-time highs? Yes, I'm going to show you where that could go in a second here. But... I am, if we're gonna follow the metrics here, I do believe XRP is due for a nice correction move back down, okay? I wanna make that call here. If you look at the support resistance prices, up here at 73 cents is the next high that we could be looking at. So let's go over here and look at 73 cents and it's basically pushing us at the top of the resistance of where we are, making the double top. So this is all that's happened within about a day. A lot has happened, okay? Move down here to the dollar cost average. If you guys are looking for a metric that you just wanna throw money into the market, this is gonna be a good one, okay? All of you guys who ended up taking these signals at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, all of you guys in the last two weeks, you guys are up in the profit. So congratulations just following one single metric on the website, all of you guys are in the profit. And if you ended up taking the exit points in here, those of you guys who did that, you were also able to take profit and you're out of the market and you made good money. Awesome. But I want to point this out to you. Look at the exit points in here. The previous times we saw a drop here. We saw one drop, two drops, three drops, four drops, five drops in the market, six drops in the market, even a small little drop, seven, and then eight with an overextension. Very, very accurate metric. So 
if this is coming out and is blinking red for me, I am just saying, okay, this could be a place where we could see a nice move back down because historically we have seen drops in the market. Okay, let's keep moving down here. We are seeing the death cross on Bitcoin, you know, moving up a little bit higher. We're currently not out of that. So using the metrics here, guys, I want you just to be aware of this. I want to go over the well institutional money real quick. W w looking at this, we are seeing short trade sentiment enter back into the market. The previous time we saw this was on this run up here, which was the double bottom. And we got up here and we saw this nice drop. Well, guess what, guys? Last time that happened, we saw shorts enter the market. Yes, we can see a little bit more before we start moving down. But this is showing me that smart money is not looking to go long right now. Okay, I want to just pause there so you guys can hear that. Smart money is not looking to go long right now. When they go long, it's when we're dropping down and they spike the price. They went long right here. They spiked the price. They went long right here. They spiked the price. They even look, take a look at this. They went long right here and they spiked the price. They went long here and the price went up. It's very clear to see from historical data. If you want to follow smart money, they are not looking to go long right now. Now, please hear me out. That is not to say that XRP won't keep going up, but even as we're seeing right now, we are even seeing a correction from when the video started this morning a little bit on XRP. I think if I'm going to make any call on this for you guys today, watch these metrics when they update. But I think XRP, it would be a great move for you guys to take at least 50% of your position out. Not financial advice. This is entertainment purpose, uh, uh, personal opinions only. Look to take 50% of the, out of your of your position so you're safe here on this move up and then let the rest ride for it to move back up, okay? But overall, if I had to come out and as people are like, Travis, you need to make a call right now. Is it going up or is it going down? I would say within this region right here, I'm just gonna put this line. In this region, I would expect to see a nice move back down to basically even this out to create a higher low, a low, high, a higher low, higher high, higher low formation, okay? So watch this. I'm gonna put this in red on here on this video so I can just keep this a little transparent so all of you guys can see this. I am expecting to see a little bit of a correction move back down for XRP. Watch the metrics when they come out. If we push into the greedy section, guys, 100% of the time we have seen nice drops back down in the market when we push into greedy. So please watch these metrics today. You guys can get this. It's 49 bucks a month. Access all the metrics 24 seven whenever you want. Okay, guys, have an awesome day. God bless you so much. Watch these charts over here. I really believe these are gonna help you guys predict the market and help you guys make a lot more money because they have been helping us call the tops and drops very, very well. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.